over 2 crores will be required to renovate the building. So here in this context we understand this preposition over is giving us the meaning of more than. Right? Over 2 crores will be required to renovate the building being damaged during the cyclone. So let's quickly look at our options and understand what can we eliminate, what do we need to retain. So this is our phrase. The option one is that was damaged. So we understand um, this is almost in the passive construction which means this damage is not in the right form, right? I need verb 3 which means it has to be damaged with a D. That's why it's not option 1. Some of you, one of you asked why not option 1? Yeah. So quickly uh, answering Ajita's question, which and that both are used for things, right? We have covered this earlier, difference between which and that. It's available in the forum as well, right? However, that we said when we are specifically uh, singling out a particular thing from all the other things, right? So limited information, it limits information or restricts information. Which on the other hand we said it adds information, right? So having said or understanding the difference, right? So over 2 crores would be required to renovate. Somebody asked what's the meaning of renovate? Renovate means you're restoring it back, right? If I'm renovating something, I am making changes to it. I am doing some probably new furnishing to the building. You're renovating the building. You're giving it a new look. Yeah, so over 2 crores will be required to renovate the building. So the da obviously it's damaged so you want to create something from scratch and make it new. So having said that, in this context that cannot be used because damage is not in the right form. However, which seems to be correct the right relative pronoun for a thing because we're talking about the building here which is a thing was damaged which was damaged during the cyclone. When I say has been damaged something is missing, right? Over 2 crores will be required to renovate the building that or which. The relative pronoun is missing. So those of you who said which, I mean option 3, incorrect because the relative pronoun is missing. Here again, fourth option also we cannot, we can rule out because when you have been, you either have to have has or had or have, right? Because it's a perfect participle construction, present or past participle is required. So obviously you need to have this, it's not there. So so the right answer from the given options is option 2. Over 2 crores will be required to renovate the building which was damaged during the cyclone. Clear? Damage is not in the right form. Why not option 3? Relative pronoun is missing. Option 4 can be ruled out because it doesn't have the appropriate helping verb. Has, had or have. With the current phrase itself, right? Being damaged. Why can't we just let it be as it is? That's his question. Now the reason why is here being is almost acting like a gerund. Being damaged during the cyclone, something has to be done, right? So in this context when it comes in, the, in, a, in a sentence, I have to be specific saying what is being damaged. I have to make a reference or related to this building. The only thing that can connect or relate to it is the relative pronoun. So the, there is a necessity of the relative pronoun being added here. So that is missing. So I can't leave being damaged as it is. I need the relative pronoun. That's why the option that is there cannot be left as it is. Over 2 crores will be required to renovate the building. Right? For what purpose? Why? Answering the question. Being damaged during the cyclone. In, if investors are coming from foreign countries to manufacture in India and your laws are so weak in child labor in comparison to international standards, then it will become a big disaster. Okay. Sentence starting with if, uh, the context is in present tense, so will is fine as it is. But um, I don't see a big, huge, um, what do I say, error in the context as such, but I'm only concerned with this conjunction and right for me whenever I have these conjunctions especially and or correlative conjunctions like not only but also either or neither nor right if I have uh, questions like this I always look for parallel construction so if I I'm going to quickly take off the clause right I'm going to look at each sentence 
each part as clause 1 and clause 2. So clause 1 is this. If investors are coming from foreign countries, right? I am writing the whole sentence for a reason. If the investors are coming from foreign countries to manufacture in India, then it will become a big disaster. Right? This is one clause. Clause 2. After and it says, your laws are so weak. So I'll probably put in another condition here. If your laws are so weak in child labor in comparison to international standards then it will become a big disaster exactly so which means I have to add so what do you think where do you think we have to make changes this is part A this is part B this is part C and this is part D and this is obviously E so which part do you think has the error I have put down both these clauses if investors are coming from foreign countries to manufacture in India then it will become a big disaster if your laws are so weak in child labor in comparison to international standards, then it will become a big disaster. So obviously, keeping in mind that these this conjunction and is joining these two sentences, which mean a clause is a complete thought, right? Your laws seems a little incomplete. So all I'll do is I'll add if in front of your. So the error is in part B. Add if before your laws right 